say Stuttgart and most people think of a town in Germany. Well, not duck hunters. To them, Stuttgart means Arkansas. Flooded green timber. When the winter rains come off the Grand Prairie and fill the little creeks and bayous, that water rises up into these woods and the acorns come to the surface. Mallards and wood ducks pile in for the feast. And right behind them come waterfowlers. Duck hunters have been coming down here from at least the 1920s. It's a classic waterfowling area. If you love to hunt ducks and you want to see them whiffling down through this green timber, you need to make a trip down to Stuttgart. Hi, I'm Ron Spomer, and this is Winchester Legends. Few sporting traditions match the glory of green timber duck hunting in Arkansas. Families have been handing down this cultural touchstone for generations. They're more than happy to share it. Doesn't get any better than this. Green timber duck hunting in Arkansas, it's a classic. Winchester Legends is brought to you by Winchester Repeating Arms, the guns that work. Swarovski Optic. Truck Vault, manufacturers of the world's finest secure in-vehicle storage systems. SOS Outdoor Products, quality gear for the outdoor enthusiast. She Safari, clothing for her expedition. The Grand Prairie, this natural grassland spread south of the Ozark Hills in Arkansas, smack in the middle of the famous Mississippi Flyway. Runoff streams near Stuttgart over flood with fall rains, turning squirrel habitat into duck paradise. Hunters traditionally wade or boat through acres of confusing woods to set decoys in openings called holes. A lifelong member of this fall ritual is Marion McCollum. With him is Stuttgart Hunt Club guide, Todd Hartley eager to showcase his calling skills for club members and even Yankee guests like Ron Spomer. Oh man, this is classic stuff. Flooded timber, and the trees are alive. This isn't some drowned reservoir with a bunch of dead trees. These are living trees. The water comes up in the winter, goes down in the spring, the forest grows, and all these acorns fall. It's just a natural habitat for wintering waterfowl. <laughs> Coming around. Come on, buddy. Here we go, here we go. You ready? Yeah. Let's get it. How many did you get that time? Three. All right, I got four. <laughs> first, first, man, first, I that. first liar doesn't have a chance. Bring him in. Did you miss that one? <laughs> you can't tell a duck anything. That's right. And a duck doesn't listen all the time. <laughs> like those three right there. That's it. That's they're not it. listening to no, it. No, and they're not going to call. <laughs> so what's your personal history here? You say you're born and raised right in this yeah. area? Yeah. Born and raised right here. I started guiding when I was 13. Oh, cool. Yeah. Were you out here? This, yeah. At this yeah, well, camp? I'm just the club next to it which is about two miles over here. Oh, the fact that you're a secretary of the department, what is it, Arkansas Fish and Wildlife Commission? Yeah, I serve a seven year term there. Uh, That's your fish and game state agency that manages right. all the hunting and so fishing? The governor appointed a position. How many years? Seven years. Seven years? Mm -hmm. You guys accomplish anything good? Yeah, we did. We got the one eighth of one percent sales tax passed. But it brings in about $30 million a year for the game and fish. So we're using it for wildlife yeah, habitat mostly? Right, and buying a lot of public land with it, mm -hmm. uh, redoing a lot of lakes. Mm -hmm. And uh, oh, it's been stuff. the best thing for wildlife as far as the state agency goes that uh, yeah. the, the public could have ever voted on. Well, that makes a big difference. You've got to have some money to manage these resources and protect them. <laughs> Swing us in the tree top. 
Boy, that's a nice drake, huh? You know, you get to looking at a drake gadwall in full plumage, they are a gorgeous duck. Black bill. And that cinnamon in the wing a little bit right there. Black tail. Everybody laughs at the gray duck, but if you take a hard look at them, they're really kind of pretty. The gray mallard, huh? Well, they save the day many a time. Yeah. <laughs> I'll just watch Holly, she'll come where the ducks are. Kill it! I had to get that tree out of my way. Holly Grill, you kind of like duck hunting, don't you? you? Tell by the way you went through that water and chased them. Yeah. She's been a good one. My family gave that to me. My wife and kids gave her to me Christmas three years ago. Really? Well, she's a good dog for three-year-old. She's, she's learning. Just hitting her prime. She's got pretty good discipline. She gets hard-headed sometimes. Here, yeah. here, here. Thank you. We eventually put enough pellets in him. That's what I'm talking about. Last pass did not look encouraging. These kept getting higher. Uh -huh. uh, wasn't this, you're supposed to call them down, not up? Yeah. That doesn't work, that didn't work all the time. Though. Didn't work all the time for me either. That's why there's not more ducks. <clears throat> more ducks flying away than they are killed. You know, there's a phenomenon of the upward circling duck. Keep calling or getting higher. Mm -hmm. That's what we all say. I don't see how they can resist when they're looking down and I'm moving those dogs. Oh, I know. Like no, when there's now. motion like that, it looks so realistic. Yeah, I, I guess they've seen it before. Like you think so? Yeah, I think mean, so. Winchester Legends is brought to you by Redhead, finest in the field since 1856. Swarovski Optic. Truck Vault, manufacturers of the world's finest secure in-vehicle storage systems. Otis Technology, from the front lines to the hunt of a lifetime, the most advanced gun cleaning systems in the world. Back in the bad old days, waterfowl hunters had to put up with paper hulled shells that swelled when they got wet, the powder got wet, they didn't go off. It was miserable. Winchester fixed a lot of that problem when they invented the all plastic hull. Well, when the steel shot came out, people were even having troubles with the shot rusting and sticking together to blow their pattern. All of that was fixed with the dry lock system patented by Winchester, a wad that seals the powder against moisture, and the end of that shell has got a seal on it so water can't even get into the payload. What that does for the waterfall hunter, or anyone who happens to fall around water with their ammunition, is it really doesn't matter. Take your shells out of the drink, put them in your gun and use them. Dry lock is going to go off. Oh yeah, dry lock, this stuff works. Mallards have been feasting in wet forests along the Bayou Mito River since long before humans came on the scene. Today, hunters fight to keep the water from being drained away, and a few duck dinners seems a fair trade. Was your dad a farmer down here? No, he uh, 
at a hardware store back in the 30s. And then in 1944, he started Max Sports Shop. We'd uh, moved out in 2000, July 2000, in our new building out on the highway. And it's a uh, retail party. It is 32,000 square feet. Wow. And the warehouse is 75,000 square feet. Oh, I got to get in there and see that. Man, have you got cases of ammo in here? Yeah, I tell you what, we, we carry a lot of ammo and we're the number one dealer for Winchester steel shot uh, for 12 consecutive years in the nation. Really? For a single store outlet. Oh, yeah, bam. That's right, I said we got a niche and the niche yeah. is waterfowl. Yeah, but you know, we talked about and I showed you all this camouflage clothing and- Can't believe how much you How it changes, like my dad's clothing here. Oh. We, uh, that's his old hunting coat. Oh yeah. And that's my dad's original duck hunting gear. Oh, I'll be darned. Isn't that something? Yeah. What's and that trophy? That trophy was when he won the World Championship Duck Calling Contest oh, in 1941. Right. That's what he used to call ducks oh, with, and also right. is what he won the championship with. Good morning. Oh, you got you? a lot of duck calls in here. Yeah, I've got quite a few. We've got about 45 different uh, manufacturers represented here. Well, I see you got the family name on your shirt there, McCollum. Yeah, the owner of this store, Marion, and I are cousins. Ah, your cousins, yeah. okay. People think we're brothers, but we're not. He's older than I am. No, <laughs> <laughs> no he's not either. He, yeah, he's quite a bit younger than I am. How have calls essentially changed since the old days? You were around from what, early 40s? Oh yes. I was, I so was, I you've was seen a lot of transition in duck oh, calls. Oh yeah, back in those days we used mostly cedar, cherry, uh, a bulldog, a bulldog, and uh, domestic wood at that okay. particular time. Later on, they began to use what we call acrylic. Acrylic is a very uh, strong uh, yeah. material, and of course it is something that will not change after once they get it set. You get you blow in it, get it wet, get it, it, was, it won't swell up. It makes a tremendous duck call. Well, c can you blow on it? Show me what the different oh, sounds sure. are. All right, now we're gonna have the hail call. <laughs> sounds kind of like a duck. Okay, they come in, they attract the ducks. They come to you. Yep. Okay, you don't, you, you cut down. <laughs> and when they come over you, at the feed call. Makes me hungry. Or if they pass over you, you turn around and they look. That's a comeback call. And then when they really get, when you really got their attention, whenever they cup their wing, best thing to do is put it in your That's pocket. That's the pocket call. That's the pocket call. I tell you. That's the one a lot of guys mess up. They don't up. know. <laughs> they go back to the hail call and blow them on out of there. I've been hunting the duck in the timber since 1945 when I returned from the service. Uh, I guided for 59 years. I retired when I was 80 years old and I still like to hunt. You're more 80. than 80? I'm, I'm 84. Holy mackerel, you're looking pretty good for 84. <laughs> oh, and women think so too. Oh, I'll bet. <laughs> hey, I sure appreciate that. Not, great talking to you. Thank you for w. coming by and thank you for uh, give me this time, and I certainly appreciate you. And uh, if there's anything we can do to help you be a better duck call, you come and see us. Okay? I guess so. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> that these ducks are be elusive today. today. Exactly. In the, in, in the worst conditions you can hunt in the timber. Right. No Gray day, no wind, fog. This is one of those days when you say get them when they come out of first pass. Exactly, first pass. That's right. <laughs> Marion and Todd are back in the blind there. I'd made a nice bunch of dead brown oak leaves. Good looking setup. I like to kind of move around a little bit. So I'm standing up against a tree. They got some nice benches set out here in the woods. You can pick for a spot, but I like to hunker up against a tree like this and just see what's going on. I'm not much for competing with the other shooters anyway. They get them on before I do. So if I get anything or miss anything, it's my fault. Okay. Okay, we're coming. Okay, we're coming. Got him. Oh. There's still plenty of action. Oh, it's really amazing. There are little holes like this, openings in the trees. 
parties are set up. There's one guy banging over there. There's some guys banging back there. Plenty of ducks flying around. It's just a, you want them to get whiffling down through the trees into your hole. Oh, look at that, right over the treetop. Yeah. Twins. I like it. <laughs> Boys for a change. The idea is to fool them, get them to come in. But they've been working the edges here, so I'm kind of turned with my back to that decoy. But that is one cool looking decoy. We've got a train going there, decoy swinging back and forth. I don't know what the guys are quacking at right now, but oh, there it is right there, see? Working the back edge all the time. The boys. What? Now you'll see I won't miss again. Oh, what a dog. Winchester Legends is brought to you by Winchester Repeating Arms, the guns that work. Redhead, finest in the field since 1856. She Safari, clothing for her expedition. SOS Outdoor Products, quality gear for the outdoor enthusiast. Otis Technology, from the front lines to the hunt of a lifetime, the most advanced gun cleaning systems in the world. when the plan comes together. Whew. That's the way it's supposed to happen, man. You know what you need down here? Forget the snow, forget the cold, forget the nasty weather. They like bluebird days, blue skies, and sunshine. Gotta have sunshine. The cloudier the day, the poorer the hunting. If you can get the sun to shine down into these trees, you lean up against one to hide, they don't see you, they come in, they see the decoys, you can tell who's who up there. Man, it doesn't get any better than this. <laughs> Behind me. That's what we're talking about. Come down lower, buddy. Back to the tungsten now. Now you'll see I won't miss again. What did we tell you? Never miss a gadwall. I'm lucky bringing it to me. See, I know you shot that gadwall. What a dog. Oh, he's going to trade it for another one. Last shell. See there? That we can wade green timber with a handful of ducks in the 21st century complements the visionary hunters who funded wetland conservation for generations. May they long continue. Marion, what do you think, what do you think of that? Huh? Is that think, a good one? I think you just showed me my first flooded timber duck. I'll oh, tell you what, it's that's been what it's good. supposed to be like, huh? It's been good. <laughs> Duck hunting may be the quintessential American shooting sport, born of a pioneering spirit and a land rich in wetlands. From hungry settlers thankful for a free meal, to market gunners' excesses, to today's conservation hunters, Americans have always been blessed with legendary waterfowling that is a rich mix of adventure, sport, spiritual renewal, family tradition, camaraderie, and culture. For more information about Winchester products, log on to winchester.com. Pattern your shotgun. We've all heard the advice, but how many of us actually heed it? Why waste a shell throwing a bunch of pellets against a sheet of paper? Well, I'll tell you why. Not all shotguns point where you think you're aiming them. Sometimes the barrels can be slightly bent or off, 
and often the stock doesn't quite fit your face, so you're actually off to the side, left or right, maybe too high or too low. All of that can be easily corrected. First you find out how that gun puts those pellets on the paper, and you do it by loading up and shooting at a target at the appropriate distance. That depends on your choke. We're shooting an improved cylinder, and the accepted distance for patterning that is about 25 yards. Well, that looks like a pretty nice even distribution, pretty well centered. Yeah. Okay, now this is the water following load number two shot. Well, that's a pretty good even spread. There's about the same number of pellets on either side of the center, top to bottom and side to side. It looks like we might have just a little bit of a shift here off to the left. Top to bottom, we've got just a few more pellets out here. So you generally pattern for a 30 inch circle to match your choke, and an improved cylinder calls for 25 yards. Most of the pattern should be inside of that 30-inch circle, so those look just about right for this gun.